Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Like so many of you other engineers out there, I've hopped on the coronavirus bandwagon. Created a couple things for 3D printing that you all can download from my website, mikesinventions.com, on the downloads page. I will go ahead and upload some of these to my Etsy shop in case you don't have a 3D printer. But you can see here, I've got a face shield. This is a uh, design, I think, four now. And it's all it is, is it's a piece of printer transparency, eight and a half by 11, that you can three hole punch and then simply clip onto the little 3D printed holder that, you know, is part of the head strap. For a strap, for this case, just to show you how versatile it is, I did this out of some folded over duct tape and made an adjustable strap that way. This version four allows me to print up to 12 at a time on the print bed. Now I know I say you should only print one item at a time, but in this case, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I haven't had one fail yet, so I'm not worried about something peeling off the bed. At 0.3 millimeters uh, layer height, it's only two layers thick. And so I've got this down to printing in 11 minutes from the original design to 14 after I tweaked the G code a little bit to uh, have it, it just, it was skipping around really funny before. Uh, but you can download this. And then if you happen to have, say, a respirator, whatever, this one's still in the package, or any other kind of mask, anything with straps, I also invented these little, what are essentially clothes pins that you can then clip a transparency to as well. It's got the same little nub that the head strap does, but with a couple little hole punches, you simply just squeeze this and clip it onto whatever. In this case, for the respirator, you know, it would clip on around the sides, like so, clip it like that, like that, and then simply poke the little nubs through the hole punch, and there you go. The key, of course, with a face shield that's made out of a flimsy material is you have to make sure that it is curved. And, of course, these clips, when you're wearing a mask, ensure that it's curved. When you're wearing something on the top of your head, it ensures that it's curved. And so I tried to make it as commercially off-the-shelf available as possible, some transparency, and a three-hole punch. We really tried, and I say we, me and my wife, have tried to do a lot of things with 3D printed masks. Sadly, I have not succeeded in creating a universal 3D printed mask yet. I think it's because, and the people that make masks figured this out a long time ago, 3D prints are hard. People's faces are soft. That's why there is no such thing out there as a hard plastic, you know, mask. Everything you've got is, you know, some sort of a silicone or latex or who knows what. But it's soft because people's faces are all different shapes, all different sizes, and they just, they have, their face has to move when you talk and do things. So a hard mask doesn't work. Somebody shared a link with me uh, for this one. This is the first time I've ever actually downloaded anything and tried to print it. This is the Darth Vader-ish looking mask. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Of course, you know, it might only fit one type of person. It It's hard, and so we experimented with all different types of seals. I'll show you here kind of what we did. I had some window seal that I experimented with. I first made a bunch of these different little test channels of different shapes and sizes to try to integrate then a channel like I did here into this mask to fit the uh, seal that we had available. The seal, some of the, you know, we had this rectangular channel with a sticky back. We had this other seal here from um, MD Building Products. Tried to retrofit the mask that it downloaded with these seals. Even with the seals, we just couldn't get a really good seal because your face has to move and the, the seal just can't make up for like a good, you know, if a fully silicone respirator would do. Um, so then when I tried to go design my own, I uh, first just printed a bunch of pieces to just to test, you know, fit and things like this. This fit me fairly well, but it doesn't fit my wife. I have a long, narrow face. She has a round face. And, um, you know, that's fine for me, but still, it's still kind of, you know, it doesn't move with me. So we tried all different things. Here's a couple of the samples of the different things we tried. My final attempt before kind of hanging, hanging it up and throwing in the towel was one that was based off the exact 3M respirator that I really like when I'm doing, you know, projects out in the shop. But here it is. I'll, I'll make this file available for you online as well. But even with the, the seal around the inside, well, it no longer really fits my face. But it's pretty easy to use. It may fit your face. Of course, you can, when you go to print this, you can, of course, scale it in the X, Y, and Z direction if you need to, to get it, you know, to fit you got this little X thing here in the back. Right now it's just tied together with some paracord for testing. 
but you can play around with this one. I love the fit of this uh, actual respirator, and so you guys, this might work for you really well. So I'll go ahead and make it available, even though I don't really care for it so much. But the, the front little fitting here just pops off. You put your filter mechanism in there. Uh, print it straight on the bed like this. You don't need any supports or anything. You don't need a raft or anything. Uh, it's three pieces. There's the internal piece here that you have to print this piece separately. Otherwise, you would need support because it doesn't lay flat on the bed. But I'll make these available for you. It all goes together. It, it only goes one way because everything is keyed and tapered so that you really can't screw it up. I've idiot-proofed it as much as I think I can. I really wish we were able to do something in the way of 3D printed respirators, but everyone's face shape is different. Our faces are soft. PLA is hard. If I had a way to print in something that was soft, believe me, I would. But I'll go ahead and make this available for you, as well as the uh, two face shield products in case you guys need them. Stay safe. Stay home. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.